Also tonight, a new claim of responsibility for a brazen raid on an important diplomatic outpost for Kim Jong-un. A shadowy group seeking to topple the North Korean dictator says it's behind the embassy break-in. Brian Todd has been looking into this for us. Brian, this uh, raid has been shrouded in secrecy. What are you learning? Well, we have new information tonight on the tactics this group used to get into the embassy and on some crucial intelligence that they may have stolen in the raid. Now, this group, Chalima Civil Defense, acknowledges that they carried out the operation, but they dispute the accounts of Spanish authorities who say they got violent. A mysterious group of Kim Jong-un's enemies is tonight claiming responsibility for a daring broad daylight raid at one of Kim's most important embassies. The group, calling itself Chalima Civil Defense, says it carried out the operation last month at North Korea's embassy in Madrid. Spanish authorities say 10 people gained entry to the embassy by posing as businessmen, tied up the staff, and beat them. You don't tie people up. You do not beat them up. You do not make a public statement after. So this is a completely unprofessional break-in. When Spanish police arrived, the assailants pretended to be North Korean officials and told police nothing was going on. But Spanish officials say the group later got away in embassy vehicles with a stash of thumb drives, hard drives, computers, and phones. It is a brutal totalitarian regime. Spanish authorities say the ringleader was this man, human rights activist Adrian Hong Chang, a Mexican living in the U.S., who they say caught a flight to the U.S. shortly after the raid. Chalima Civil Defense disputes Spanish officials' account of the operation, saying they never beat or tied anyone up, and the group says it didn't work with any government. Chalima did post a video, possibly from the raid, showing someone smashing the revered pictures of Kim Jong-un's father and grandfather with the words, for our people, we rise up. Their uh, stated goal is to overthrow the regime and uh, bring in human rights and other freedom to North Korea. A former top North Korean embassy official in London who defected says the raid could have netted decryption computers that the regime uses to communicate with its embassies around the world. Veteran spies say, given the operations North Korea runs out of its embassies, those decryption computers could be a treasure trove for Western intelligence agencies. They're running um, drugs, um, all sorts of black market stuff. They're running agents in the Korean community. And, you know, getting the names of those agents and figuring out what they're doing against the exiles, Korean exiles, would be a counterintelligence breakthrough. Tonight, Chalima Civil Defense says it's suspending its operations because its members have been exposed. Analysts believe their lives are in danger. Kim regime can retaliate in various ways. They could try to kidnap them. They could try to assassinate, kill them. Uh, they can also try to ruin their reputation by doing some sort of smear campaign. Both Spanish authorities and the Chalima Civil Defense Group itself say the group shared information on the raid with the FBI, and Chalima says it did that at the FBI's request. The FBI is not commenting on the case. We reached out to U.S. intelligence and got no comment from them. A State Department spokesman says no U.S. government agency had any involvement whatsoever in this raid. Wolf? Sounds like uh, there's a lot more information, Brian, uh, that we're working on to get on this uh, rather mysterious development. Brian Todd reporting for us. Thank you very much.